Okay, gang, here we go. It's test number one, review problem number not two. That was the last one. This is problem number three. And it's statics on a particle or a single point. Now this particular problem was on a test. I had this on a test last semester and it just blew students' minds. They were like, I can't do this. Let's work it and see if you can do it, okay? We can do it. We can do it together. So here's what the deal is. I've got this weight hanging from this system. Now this system looks really weird, okay? So the weight is 800 pounds. So this is 800 pounds. The system looks like it has one, two, three, four, five ropes. But let's see what it says. It says, find the tension in cable AC. AC, so that's one cable. Whoops, I erased it. That's AC. AE, that's one cable. And cable DABA, like yabba dabba do, right? D A B A. Oh, that's so it's saying there's one cable that comes down here, goes through a ring, goes up around a pulley, and then comes back. So what do we know about that one cable? That the tension there is the same as the tension there, is the same as the tension there. Okay? No problem. So what do we got ahead of us here? You know what we got ahead of us? This is a 3D problem about a point, and so the technique to do this is number one, uh, well, number one, draw three, uh, a, a, a FBD, okay, we'll do that. So I've got W, and then I have one, two, three, four, five, right? And so we could call this T, and that T, and this, no, that one T, this one T and this one T, right? Because all of those are the same tensions. They're the same rope. That's D-A-B-A, -A, right? That's this guy. Whoop, 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 okay? And then we got T-A-E, T-A-E, and then we got up here T-A-C, okay? So we need to write all of those ropes in vector form, okay? So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Six to write, oh lordy, T-A-E. T, A, C, vector, vector, equals, equals. Um, and then we got T, we'll call this one T1, T2, and T3, right? Actually, yeah, that's okay. Um, T1, T2, and T3. Whoops. T3. Okay. Now T2 and T3, they should be exactly the same. Not, not a problem there. All right, let's just start with AE, okay? If we're talking AE, we've got to write lambda hat. By the time we get through, we're going to be good at lambda hat, right, gang? So lambda hat AE is equal to E minus A. All right, what are the coordinates of point E, okay? Well, that's going to be... Now, here's another trick, another trick. Look at the axis. This is X. That is Y. That is Z. That's different than we're used to. Should that blow our mind? Should that fool us on the test? You gotta get up earlier than that to fool us, right? It's eight in the Z. That's it for point E. Okay? Zero, zero, eight. Okay? What about point A? What about point A? You didn't give us the dimension again. All right, this is really 10 feet, okay? So 10 feet below the origin is where that W hangs, okay? So the coordinates of point A are zero, negative 10, zero, because that's in the Y, right? Zero, negative 10, zero, okay? So zero I hat, 
uh, minus or minus, so that's plus 10 j hat, and then 8 minus 0 plus 8 k hat, divided by 10 squared plus 8 squared. Okay, let's see what we got here. Come on, calculator. All right, what is uh, 164 square root, huh? All right, clear. One, uh, clear. Square root of 164 is uh, 12.81. Okay, so my lambda vector there for this guy is 10 divided by 12.81. 0.781 and then plus 8 divided by 12.81.625. Okay, and so that's going here T A E times 0.781 J hat plus 0.625 K hat. Okay, that guy doesn't even have three components. He's just a 2D vector, isn't he? This guy right here. Okay, let's do AC. Okay, that's over here. AC. All right, lambda hat. AC is C minus A. Okay, so point C is how much in the X? Negative uh, 3. Okay. How much in the Y? That's up and down, zero, okay? And how much in the Z? Uh, negative six, okay? And then point A, we already know point A, zero, negative 10, zero. So negative three minus zero is negative three. Zero minus a minus is a plus 10. And then minus six, K hat. All right, divided by 3 squared plus 10 squared plus 6 squared, which is uh, 3 squared plus 10 squared plus 6 squared, and then square root of that, 12.04. Okay. So my lambda hat, AC, is going to be 3 divided by, answer, 0.249, and then 10 divided by 12.04, 0.831, and then 6 divided by 12.04, 0.498. Okay, and don't get your signs wrong. Ooh, look, I almost got my sign wrong. Negative, positive, negative. Ooh, I didn't put a negative right there, did I? I almost got a minus five. That would have been bad. So TAC times negative 0.249 uh, I hat plus 0.831 J hat minus 0.498 K hat, okay? There's another one. Okay, let's do T1. Let's do let's do this guy, which goes from A to D. Okay, so we'll do lambda hat AD, which is D minus A. Okay, A I already know, zero, negative 10, zero. And point D, what are the coordinates of point D? It's a negative four, zero, and in the Z, one. Okay, so that's negative 4 I hat, minus a minus, 10 J hat, and then 1 K hat divided by square root, 4 squared plus 10 squared plus 1 squared, okay. 16 plus 1 is 17, so it's the square root of 117, which is... Uh, 10.82, so lambda hat, AD, 
is equal to 4 divided by 0 0.370. And this one's negative, positive, positive. So negative I hat plus 10 divided by 10.82, which is 0.924. And then plus one more, one divided by 10.82, 0.092. Okay, and so T is multiplied by negative 0.370 I hat plus 0.924 J hat plus 0.092 K hat. Okay, one more, my friends, and that is A, B, okay? So lambda hat, A, B is B minus A. So here we go, zero minus 10, zero, and what are the coordinates of point B over here? Uh, in the X, three, okay? In the Y, zero, and in the Z, negative one. Okay, so 3i hat plus 10j hat minus 1k hat divided by 3 squared plus 10 squared plus 1 squared. So that's a 9, 10. That's a square root of 110, right? Square root of 110. And then that is 10.49. And so our last lambda vector, which needs to be positive, positive, negative, is 3 divided by 10.49, 10 divided by 10.49, 0.953. And then finally, 1 divided by 10.49, 0.095. Okay, minus, plus, plus, minus, plus, plus, minus. Good. Okay, so, and both of these are the same, right? Because there's two ropes. I gotta, I gotta make sure I include each rope. Now, I could put a two in front of the whole thing, but I'll just, I'll just list them as separate just to not confuse anybody, okay? So, what did we say? That's this guy, right? 0.286 i hat um, plus 0.953 j hat minus 0.095 k hat. Okay, 0.286 k hat plus 0.953 j hat minus 0.095 k hat. All right. Shoo! Okay, that's just step one, man. We got all of our vectors, all of these. Oh, we're missing one. What are we missing? We're missing one, and that guy is vector W is, this guy right here, is in the negative Z direction, so he's just minus 800 uh, J hat, right? So he's in the uh, Y direction. All right, let me erase these things here and give us some room for our equations of equilibrium. All right, here's what I see ahead for us. I see a little system solver in our future, right? So thank goodness our calculator does that. So we have these three equations, sum and force in the x have to equal zero, sum and force in the y have to equal zero, sum of the forces in the z have to equal zero, okay? So let's just fill these in. So let's start with the i equation, which is all of the x. Well, I'm going to start with AE. I'm just going to do these one at a time and add them up here, okay? So here we go. This first one has 0 TAE, right? 
plus points, uh oh, point seven eight one TAE, and then point six two five TAE. Okay, that's got that one. Okay, next, uh, minus. 0.249 TAC plus 0.831 TAC and then minus 0.498 TAC. All right, that's got that one. All right, the next one, I'm going to go ahead and add these together, right? Because I'm going to add all the, this is all times T, right? Which is T D A B A, right? So I'm just going to add those together. So I got 0.286 times 2, and then from that I'm going to subtract 0 0.3370. That leaves me with 0 0.202. So point plus 0 0.202 T, okay, equals 0. And then the next one, I'm going to add this column up for my y equation, 0 0.953 times 2 plus 0.924 is 2.83. So plus 2.83t equals, right, minus 800, but I can move the 800 to the other side, so equals 800. Did you understand that? It would have been plus, 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 minus 800 equals zero, right? So I just took that minus 800, moved him to the other side, and he looks like that, right? And then the last one is this k-hat column over here, which is 0 0.092 minus 0 0.095 minus 0 0.095, which is point zero, negative 0 0.098, so minus 0 0.098 t equals zero in the Z. All right, do you see what I've done here? I've got a column for AE, I got a column for AC, I got a column for T, and I got my constants over there, which makes my system solver super easy. So I go to system solver, three by three, and I just enter these things in, right? Zero, enter, enter. Um, negative, point two four nine, enter. Point two oh two, enter, enter. Next line, 0 0.781, enter, 0 0.831, enter, 2.83, enter, and then 800, enter. Last line, 0.625, enter, negative, uh oh, that's not negative, negative 0.498, enter, and then negative 0 0.098, enter, then zero, enter, and now I'm at solve, click solve, bam. Now I better not see any negatives. If I see a negative here, that means I have a magic pushing rope. They better all be positive, okay? Here we go. This is the computer, the calculator here saying that T was a TAE, and the calculator says that's 155.5 uh, pounds, okay? The next one, scroll down, which was TAC was next, that is uh, 157.1. And finally, T, which was D-A-B-A, -A, yabba dabba do, that guy was 193.7 pounds. Okay? So there you go. There's your answers. All right, so this isn't too bad. If you'll do these steps, okay, this is not going to be the shortest problem on the test. It's probably the longest problem on the test, but it's not hard. You can do it. Follow these steps. Number one, identify all of your vectors and then write them in Cartesian form, in IJK form. And then from there, write your equations of equilibrium, right? The I's go in the X, the J's go in the Y, the K's go in the Z, and then a little bit of algebra or system solver to get your answers over there, okay? So don't let this one blow our mind. We got it. Let's make 100 on this, y'all. Let's go to the next problem. Come on.